on screen we've got an elemental loop grid and you'll notice that one of those posts has a different overlay color than all the other posts notice they're all a little bit black or dark and we've got one that's got a red tone there i'm going to show you how to do this with a custom field and i think this opens the possibilities of you really bespokifying your loop grid by the way bespokifying isn't a proper real word so don't go googling or dictionary checking it but let me show you how to do this we've got our loop grid and i'm now going to go in and hit edit template it's just a grid of four by three now as soon as you go to edit template the color may disappear that tends to happen until it pulls through all of the dynamic fields and whatnot now over here we have a container and this container basically contains nothing much more than post title and post info. You could add in a button, a link, whatever you want, icons. Now if we go to the container, by the way the post title and post info are obviously coming from the post. You could bring through a heading, a text editor, use a custom field or any other tool or plugin you want to do to bring through dynamic fields. But if we go to the container and we go to the style of this container, the background image for the container is the featured image. Again, this is very standard as to what you might bring through when you're doing loop grid. By the way, you could have dropped in a normal image widget as well. And you could have said the image widget will be using the featured image. And if anyone is unsure about how you do that, whenever you add in an image widget or you go to a container and the background setting over here, you'll have the dynamic tag. You click that and you go and click featured image or you could scroll down and pick a custom field. So what I'm showing you so far should be pretty easy to understand. But how did I get the color on? And there's something you need to do before, but I wanna show you what you do on the actual loop grid, and then I'm gonna show you the extra component. Well, you're gonna kind of see it here. If I go down to background overlay, the settings for the overlay are currently set to 0.6. If you wanna go lighter or darker, you can do. I just liked going for 0.6. And my blend mode is currently set to multiply. When you have an overlay on top of an image, normal is what we normally go for or overlay. But I'm telling you now, multiply works so well with literally multiplying over the colors. And if you've got like a red or green or blue tone, it works really well. Trust me on this. OK, go for multiply when you're doing this overlay effect. Now, when it comes to the color, rather than actually setting a color because this is what you would probably do you go in and you go and pick a color and when it applies in and you would obviously modify but when you do that you lose the option to blend with multiply or overlay and all of that so it's a bit of a you know it's a bit annoying but instead of picking a color whether it's a standard color or a global color what you want to do is go and click the dynamic tag i'm just going to hit clear there for a moment go and hit dynamic tag and then go to post custom field. Don't go for ACF color pick a field because it doesn't always work well, but we're gonna to go to a post custom field. Now, when you do that, you gotta pick a custom field and I'm doing this in the wrong order because I just want to get you to understand this and then I'm gonna show you the field and then it will all make sense, right? But I wanna show you that when you do sometimes go try to pick a field, at the minute I can pick hex one because that's my field. Sometimes you will click select and there will be no option there. Okay, there's, there's like you'll click it and the hex one won't be there. By the way, that's my custom field hex one. I've given that away. If that ever happens and you click select and there's nothing there, don't panic. Just go down here to where it says custom key and go and type in the code for it. Okay, so I could have picked it here because it is there anyway. But rather than doing that, if it doesn't appear in your drop down, because sometimes it doesn't and then people think it's broken go and type hex one as your custom key okay really really simple and easy and then go and hit update because that is now going to bring through a hex code and if i now hit save and back post seven should go red again because post seven i've added in a different color now let me show you the custom field and how you add that to your post so if i go over to my fields over here and i'm using advanced custom fields plugin that you can get for free I've just got a field group called ACF fields. It applies to the posts. And at the minute, I just have one field in here because that's all I could be bothered to do. It's called hex one. Let's just go and have a look at it. It's a text field. All right. Some people will scroll down and start to pick uh, the color picker. I find that does not always work very well. I don't know why it just doesn't work well for me. So I've got a text field. 
and I've called it hex one and the code is hex one as well, which is why when we were doing the loop grid and I was doing the overlay, it's hex one, right? It's the field name. So if you had gone and called it something like that, your field name will be hex underscore one. Let me just pop that back to how it was. And then I've put in a default value. So I've put in black. So if you want to put in a default color, go for it. And then go and hit save changes. Now, just because you've done that does not necessarily mean it will apply. Let me explain. If I go over to my post and I've got 12 in here at the moment, if they were already existing and then I go and create this, it will not apply that even though I've said it's a default value. So word of warning, if you've got a thousand posts already created and you now want to give them an overlay color, even though the default value is that, you think, oh yeah, it will automatically apply it. No. What happens is it won't automatically apply until you go through every single one. So you got to go and hit edit. And even though it is there populated, you still have to go and hit update. So just, I'm letting you know, okay, it won't apply it. So if you're doing this and you've already got legacy posts, you're going to have to go through and hit update, update, update. If you're doing it from the get go, you'll be okay. Because from the get go, if you create the brand new post and it's got that in, you're obviously going to hit update at the time you hit publish. So you'll be covered. Right, now let's go back over to post number seven. In fact, no, we know post number seven is fine. So instead, let's go to post number 11. Let's do a different post, right? Let's go into this. Let's go down to where we have the hex code and let's go and enter in a different code. I'm going to enter in FFA900. I think that's orange. I might be wrong now, but FFA900. Let's then hit update. I go back to my loop grid and you can see it is an orange color, but this is where the multiply works really well. If you just go for normal or overlay, everything will be orange. But when you use mo multiply, it tends to keep some of the contrast tones of the image, but then it blends it in a really nice way. And if you look at that, you can see the orange color is coming through there. That is with custom field, text field that I call hex. You put your hex code in, you can have a default color. And it now means that you could have different colored overlays for your posts in Loop Grid. I'm Imran from Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'd love to know your comments if you think this was any use or not, or garbage. Let me know. Take care. See you soon. Bye.